STS-45 was a 1992 Space Shuttle mission using the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Its almost nine-day scientific mission was with a non-deployable payload of instruments. It was the 46th Space Shuttle mission and the 11th for Atlantis. Topic: <laughs> Crew. Topic: <laughs> Backup crew. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Crew seating arrangements. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mission highlights. Atlantis was launched on the 24th of March 1992 at 8:13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The launch was originally scheduled for the 23rd of March but was delayed by one day because of higher than allowable concentrations of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen in the orbiter's aft compartment during tanking operations. During troubleshooting, the leaks could not be reproduced, leading engineers to believe that they were the result of plumbing in the main propulsion system not thermally conditioned to the cryogenic propellants. The launch was rescheduled for the 24th of March. Atlantis weighed 105,982 kilograms, 233,650 pounds at launch. STS-45 carried the first atmospheric laboratory for applications and science Atlas One experiments, placed on Spacelab pallets mounted in the orbiter's payload bay. The non-deployable payload, equipped with 12 instruments from the United States, France, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, the Netherlands and Japan, conducted studies in atmospheric chemistry, solar radiation, space plasma physics and ultraviolet astronomy. Atlas I instruments included the Atmospheric Trace Molecule Spectroscopy Atmos, Grill Spectrometer, Millimeter Wave Atmospheric Sounder Mass, Imaging Spectrometric Observatory ISO, Atmospheric Lyman Alpha Emissions ALI, Atmospheric Emissions Photometric Imager AEPI, Space Experiments with Particle Accelerators SEPAC, Active Cavity Radiometer ACR, Measurement of Solar Constant SOLCON, Solar Spectrum Spectrum SOLSPEC, Solar Ultraviolet Spectral Irradiance Monitor SUSIM, and Far Ultraviolet Space Telescope Faust. Other payloads included the Shuttle Solar Backscatter Ultraviolet SSBUV experiment, a Getaway Special gas experiment and six mid-deck experiments. The mission was extended by a day in order to continue science experiments. The landing occurred on the 2nd of April 1992, 6:23 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, on runway 33 of the shuttle landing facility, located at the Kennedy Space Center. The rollout distance was 2,812 meters (9,226 feet), and Atlantis weighed 93,005 kilograms (205,041 pounds) on landing. See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Nikon NASA F-4 Outline of space science Space Shuttle Stock footage Stock footage from the launch of this mission was used in the Chucklevision episode Kidnapped. Sources This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA Mission Summary